feel when Lindsay Gilby, uh, <laughs> with about nine, I think it was nine minutes to go in the last quarter, crossed the ball and, into, and turned it over 50 yards. Oh, you look at it in isolation, it's probably, probably a good option. Um, obviously, didn't see Petri there, but for Lindsay, he's such a good kick to yeah. miss that target. And at nine points up or whatever we were at that stage, uh, I mean, we spoke about it at half time in the wet, and it, yeah. and it was very slippery. Just, just kicked the ball long. Just he's such a long kick, he could have put it at the goal square. Force a bounce a point, and we'll be able to block it up. Did you speak about it to Lindsay after the match? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay didn't take that too well. No. <laughs> it's funny how the jungle drums beat. <laughs> Rocket, the Brownlow medalist Adam Cooney played 55% of game time. Now, he's either not right, or you weren't happy with the way he played. Um, no, he played, 50, yeah, played 57 the week before, which he actually had more game time because it was a longer game, and we were reasonably pleased with him. He, that he got that bad... Cork, yeah, the bump, yeah. Cork, yep. um, which restricted his running. Um, so that it certainly wasn't a deliberate uh, point to give him that, that, that percentage of game time. We're looking at 60 to 65. We're looking at building it each week. Um, but Adam was off the boil a bit, um, uh, I suppose, for whatever reason. But there was he worked hard enough? Um, he did first week, and I don't know whether it's second up after a break. You know, I think the old horse parlance that, uh, that they, tend to be a bit, you know, they tend to be a bit sluggish. Mm. Um, but to answer your question, no, no, he probably didn't. Can I ask you about the, my favourite rule, the rush behind? Yeah, you love that. And Dylan Addison. Thanks for bringing it in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon it's been a huge success, but I didn't envisage what would happen in this instance <laughs> here when Dylan Addison's nearly seen it through and he thought, what am I going to do here? I can't rush it through. And he just hoped it rolled over the line, didn't he? What should he have done? Well, Because Ed Lower actually kicked the goal. So, uh, yeah. First, I suppose I don't agree with the rule, but anyway, I'll put that on the table. Mm. But the fact the rule's in, we've got to work with it. I think in that situation that the umpires have said that they actually give the players leniency. So really he could have walked the ball through yeah. or knocked it through. And Pick he, it up and and he would have allowed yeah. that as a, as a rush behind. If it's a metre out, what is it? Um, well, I reckon you've got, to, you've got to go there with intensity. Dylan, unfortunately, was walking or jogging. Mm -hmm. Picked the ball up and then attempt to run along the line. Mm -hmm. And if you get tackled, you're over the line. Mm -hmm. You've got to mm -hmm. maybe just, I think, try and disguise it. Once you slow down, you're really sending a sign to the umpires, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Rocket, I want to ask you about Liam Pickering, uh, sorry, Liam Pickin. And before Pickering uh, works on Rocket. <laughs> he does. Before we get a comment, uh, let's hear from Liam himself. Uh, we went out and had a chat to him and asked him about the big assignment and also whether his famous dad, Billy, gave him any advice. Rocket to told me um, I was playing on Harvey, so I um, just went to the midfield coaches, spoke to Paul Williams, played on him before and Acker and that, so just went through a few tapes and just tried to get, get a look where he runs and stoppages and that sort of stuff. Obviously, I was pretty nervous Saturday night, so, um, yeah, I just fell asleep probably late. But, no, I had a good night's sleep, so. I uh, spoke to my old man um, before the game, but, yeah, he was pretty quiet. He just let me go out there and play. Yeah, he's kept pretty quiet and, yeah, he didn't say much. He had plenty to say on the ground, did uh, Here <laughs> comes Billy. He, he's Billy's son. Yeah. He, it was great, wasn't it? Uh, the job he yeah. did on Boomer was uh, very much part yeah, of the good. reason he won. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's... Probably work over the pre-season, been as good as anyone probably up there with Cross. And the players really, really like him. Actually, Matthew Boyd said today because he's the old number 42. He just loves him in the team and coming off the rookie list like Matthew does. But he's just so hard and tough and uh, works. Just his work rate's enormous. And uh, he's a very quiet young lad. And uh, I think uh, in the past, Harvey and Wells have been two players who've just queued up to play against us. So we really had to knock them out. Brad Johnson got a 50 metre penalty for descent. Now we know you don't like the rush behind rule, and I think you're in concert with us about the 50 metres for tackling. Yeah. But there was another one uh, for Richmond for pointing. Is is that descent? I think two things on that. Brad said to the umpire that the players' eyes went on the ball. The North, what about the North players' eyes? Um, so therefore the umpire got that wrong, so he interpreted that wrong, one. And two, I don't think it was over demonstrative anyway. Mm. So maybe just got to be some common sense there that uh, maybe it was a bit over precious. You guys are in great form you know, and had a great, fantastic start to the year. What do you have to do to, to, to win a premiership or get to a grand final from here? I mean, how does a coach set the next 25 weeks yeah, I, to get there? Yeah, I think it's dangerous when you set that far ahead. Mm. Uh, I know it's an old cliche, but you really got to set it in small blocks. And uh, there's not much difference between the teams. I know the top two. I know Hawthorne lost the first couple, but then the best side. But those two are probably maybe I think there's a gap between the rest. But there's not much difference between mm. the rest of the teams. And if you've got players out or the conference is down or forms down, you can really have a bad patch. So um, I think it's a matter of getting to the eight first. Um, we've got to win enough games to get there, and hopefully then once we secure that, hopefully get enough games to. 
actually get top four. So, um, but, but I think the improvement's going to come from the young players. You look at you know, Williams, hopefully they can get better. Higgins, uh, better. It's Everett, good, yeah. Everett, get better. Harbrow's a good little player. And, and we've got some new players coming through. Ward, hopefully, can, you know, you know, you know, can actually step up. So we've got some good kids who are very talented. Yeah. So I think that's where the improvement will come from. One final one. When would you like to sign your contract? <laughs> <laughs> First one, Bruce. We will. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, mate. Rodney E, coach of the Western Bulldogs. Time for a break.